Good morning, my friends. Um, it's been a while since I've talked to you, so I'm gonna tell you how this past week has gone for me and something that happened yesterday. And um, I'm gonna tell you, um, it's it's been, I have been on an emotional tight roller coaster. I build myself up and then I find myself falling back down. I build myself up and I find myself falling back down. And um, there's a song where this uh, man asks the monks, how do they do it day after day after day and, and stay close to God? And they said, we fall down, we get up. We fall down, we get up. And that's the way I feel like I've been this past, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I'm disappointed in my videos because it's so much harder, I think, on YouTube than it is on Facebook. You have to make sure the camera's turned a different way. And I can't get my camera centered. I just something wrong there. So that gets me, uh, well, I can't get it centered. And then I have to make sure there's no music on because if there's music in the background, they will not post it. And there's just so much. And then I haven't learned to uh, post it myself. So I have to wait till Papa comes in the house or Brie pops in, or now Brie said she wrote me down step by step instructions, and I've lost them. So um, that that's a problem for me. It's a, it's more steps. There goes Heidi. She's got a little cough this morning. Well, she's had it a while. She's been having antibiotics. So anyway. Um, there's just, to me, a, a, a lot more goes into doing it on YouTube, where Facebook, it was so simple. You just, you turn it, the camera this way and not this way, and you only have a small section to center, and, um, and then it's just a couple of steps, and it's posted, and if it has music in the background, that's fine. There's just, with this new platform, it's so much to get used to. So it, it automatically puts me on the, um, on the downside, I'm going to say, on the down low. I don't know. Anyway, um, last week, it seems like such a long time ago. Time flies, guys. Last week, Carly had the flu. Jill brought her on the Monday. And uh, she said, gee, can she stay here? She's running fever. And I said, sure. So she ran fever all that day, and I felt so sorry for her. And um, I couldn't I couldn't get her fever, like, to completely break. And she would get up, and she would play for a while. Next thing I know, she'd be under a blanket, just freezing. And um, so I may have already told you all this. I don't know. So I called Jill, and... Uh, she took her to the doctor that afternoon and she had the flu. So that was Monday. So then Tuesday, Jill went ahead and stayed home with her. But I had both girls Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And, um, oh, Carly was so hard to get along with. Um, she was on an antibiotic. And then the antibiotic gave her diarrhea. It messed up her little tummy. And praise God, she's potty trained, uh, but one time she come through and she says, Gigi, I don't know why I just have to go poo-poo so much, and I feel so sad for it, and I said, baby, it's the medicine, it's making your tummy like that, so anyway, um, it was a hard week dealing with her because even though she was feeling better, she wasn't feeling good, and I was not, she, <laughs> she would tell me something I wouldn't understand her, and she would go, no, and she would just cross her arm, stomp her foot, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to correct her or get on to her for that, because she doesn't feel well, so I'm thinking, well, I'm going to give her some Tylenol, and that'll help her overall feel better, 
So anyway, Dustin had to be switched to uh, mornings, I mean to more to afternoons. He's in management now. So if someone doesn't come or someone calls off, he, if there's no one to reschedule, he's going to have to fill in that time. So anyway, um, I got the girls. I was getting the girls at uh, 9.30 which was better than 5.30, although we still got up at 5 because now our internal clocks tell us to get up at 5. So, um, anyway, but one night Jill had a ball game, so we had him real late. And um, I just I just did not have time. I, I literally did not have time to, uh, to put out a video because, like I told y'all before, I'm not one that can just pop up like Papa does and just start filming stuff because it's just me and and I, I don't want to sit here with my age spot showing and um I, I I don't feel comfortable if I'm not if the house isn't clean around me and my face isn't somewhat fixed I don't have enough confidence to sit down in front of the video and start talking so um that was my week. Yeah. So, um, Saturday, we did go get Lex Friday, and that was awesome. And Breezy kept Carly while we went, because Carly hates to ride, but Coda likes to ride. So, Coda, we took Coda, and we got Lex, and um, it was a great Saturday. Um, There, I, I say it's a great Saturday. We hardly see him because he goes upstairs. Next thing you know, here comes Connor, and they're upstairs. And uh, this is so funny. I bought them these gaming chairs. I got them online. I got them on Marketplace. It was two of them for $75. And I was real excited. But I guess the boys aren't heavy enough to hold them. Because Connor called them banana chairs, banana gaming chairs. So I guess they're not heavy enough to hold the seat down. So they went, they get excited and go back. <laughs> Their whole seat goes back. <laughs> and Connor can give a perfect example <laughs> of how Lex went. He was right in the middle of a good move. And he goes, yeah. And then he, his whole thing goes back and he lost his move. <laughs> so, I don't know. It, it might not be funny to you, but it's funny to watch Connor throw his legs in there. And I said, well, does your chair go back to it? And he goes, oh yeah. Anytime I push back. So I'm thinking, okay, well, hmm, what can I do about this? I, I'm so happy with those new gaming chairs, but it might take a heavier person, like I say, to, um, to hold it down. Anyway, so I go outside and I get my two zero gravity chairs I let them both sit in it. I show them how to push back. And so they're real excited with that. So what I'm going to do, in fact, Connor took them up yesterday, just yesterday. And uh, I sprayed all the sand off and got them, got them clean and everything. So I'm going to throw them each up a blanket to lay over the zero gravity chairs. And they're so comfy. They're so comfy, the comfy those chairs. Anyway, I had two just alike, and then I have my one that's in our storage room that I take when I go to the beach or something. So anyway, we're back where we have no chairs under the, um, under, in the backyard, but um, it's not really right now the weather to sit out. So that was my week. That was my funny story with Connor and Lex, and, um, so I'll tell you about Sunday it was a great day. We, Papa's got a, a cough, and I, I told him I said, "Honey, uh, I don't think, you know, I don't want you to go to church today. They might think you have COVID or the flu or something." And so I said, "I think it'd just be better if you stayed home." So Kim picked me up. I rode to church with them, and it was it was a very good service. Um. We sat right beside Daniel, and Lou had to go to the back um, to help get ready for something. And I think Daniel kept dozing off. 
And I'm thinking, um, maybe I should get up there and sit beside him. And I'm thinking, he's a grown man. He don't need his mama to get up there and sit beside him so I can nudge him every time he does off. But Daniel will be the first one to tell you he dozes off in church. He's got to be active and he can't hardly sit through that, uh, through that hour and a half church service. So I think that's pretty funny. Anyway, Saturday, I didn't tell you, but I'm sure you, you saw my new closet and I'm aesthetic. I aesthetic. I'm ecstatic about that. I love it. I love it. Every time I go toward the front door, I give my closet a big hug because it's got all of that stuff that was piled in there. It's, it's in there so nice. And um, I didn't want to build a shelf in there because if I do, it's going to have to go on our log wall. And when Papa and I pass away, whoever gets this house may not want that a closet. And I don't want the edge of the logs ruined so it can't be opened up into a, you know, a nice big room again. Anyway, so um, I've ordered shelving to go in there. It's the heavy-duty plastic, and then I can put all my stuff on it. But for right now, I'm, I'm so happy with it. And Papa hasn't built the closet door yet. It's going to be a barn door, but he hasn't done that yet, and I'm not going to push him for that. I'm just, you know, when he makes it, he'll make it, and he'll hang it, and I'll just be happy. So anyway... So, let's get to Monday, okay. Monday, we went to the nursing home, and uh, Kim's not real happy about doing puppets anymore, and we have to take our stand, and we have to take the everything in the stand, and, it's, and we have to carry two stools to sit on because sometimes there's not any empty chairs, and it, it's just a hassle. So, I've, as well, I've already told you this. I've been doing the life stories. So, um... I hope y'all like the crack pot. But guys, I want to apologize. I have not read. I have not answered very, very few. Did you just walk in front of the camera? Oh, that's crazy. I was going to say, I didn't even see you, but duh, it's pointed toward me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, um... Let's see, where did, oh, we had Coda's birthday party on Sunday. No, 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 Carter's. We had Coda's two weeks ago. Yesterday, uh, this past Sunday, we had Carter's. So, I'm sure y'all all saw all of that. It was so sweet, though. Um, her mommy would tell her, this is from so-and-so, and she would open it. And she would, like, Gigi, she said, Gigi, thank you for getting me the unicorn family and Aunt Kim. Aunt Kim, thank you for getting me the, the, the paint and the unicorn and everybody that got her something. She would name exactly what she had gotten from them and, and thank them. And it was, well, you know how well she talks. She's like a tiny adult, I guess. But it, it was a great party. And Carly and Coda um, had a great time. And it's real funny because... Carly and Coda both love Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse. And Tina had, Tina didn't come, but Ben was there and he brought up Mickey Mouse. It's one of those round ones, a Minnie Mouse, I'm sorry, a round, uh, they're, they're called plushies, I think, or foamies or something. It's just a, like a half of a round ball with the little head painted on and she had her big bow in her hair. And oh my goodness, Coda saw that. She grabbed that. Okay, baby. And off she went. So we took it from her. She kept going, mine, mine. And uh, we said, no, this is for Carter's birthday. So finally she gave it to us. Well, as we were watching Carter open presents, because this one wasn't wrapped, when it was, all the presents were gone and she was going to give her, there was no plushie. And uh, somebody said, I just saw Coda in that area. So Coda had gone out, come in the other door, got that plushie and walked off this way. So Jill goes running after her. She'd already gone up the stairs at Daniel's, across the porch and was going down the other side of the porch, carrying that. And Jill's hollering at her, Coda, stop. She's going, mine, mine. 
So uh, I will be getting her one of those, maybe for Christmas, maybe a little sooner because it just, it broke her heart. So, but that was like really, really funny. She just, she wanted that, that mini mouse plushie. So anyway, the party was uh, really, really good. And then, like I say, church service was real good. Papa didn't go. Kim and I went and um, he talked on love. And I, it, it was a really good sermon. I think Papa should have heard it because uh, it, it's how many times. Basically, he's talking about how many times do we tell Jesus that we love him? Just, just, for, just to tell him. You know, not asking for anything or not um, thanking for anything. Just the fact that, that we say, Jesus, I love you. I love you. And anyway, and then he turned that around. Wives are more apt to say that to their husbands where husbands may say, I love you too, but he brought up about the husbands showing um, love to their wife and actually saying the words, I love you. And his wife says it to him a lot more than he says it to her. So men need to kind of get going there. And I think, oh yeah, Papa needs to hear this. Anyway, so yesterday we go to the old folks home and I did the story about the apple and then uh, we came straight, uh, Elora and Brindley, Grace both went, and they were loving on the people. And there was one, this little lady, and every time she could get their attention, she would call them over like that. And, oh, I felt so sorry. I felt sad for her because she just wanted to love those, those babies so much. And I thought, I don't know if she has grandkids or great-grandkids, but... Um, she was so, so happy to, to love on those little girls. And, and Brindley said every time we went over there, she would kiss us. And I said, well, babies, that's what she needed. And you gave her something she needed. So anyway, we go to Jack in the Box and we get breakfast for Lex and Connor because I'd left them here. And um, Connor wanted nuggets and Lex wanted the big breakfast. So we brought that home. Then Kim come and pick me up, and we went to get a shelf for her. And she's probably videoed her shelf of what she's doing to it. Anyway, what I was going to tell you is we wanted to get chicken. And we went to Cleveland because that's where we were, and Lex will only eat chicken legs. So he'll really, if he's forced to eat something else, but he just likes the drumsticks. So we ordered drumsticks and thighs, and we gave her our, our whole order. We had two different orders, and then she says, um, we don't have any drumsticks. So I said, Kim, let's go, let's go into New Caney. So we tell her, thank you, you know, but we have to have drumsticks, so we go to New Caney. And uh, she gets a 20-piece uh, legs and thighs, and I got a 20 piece, legs and thighs. And then we got it with uh, french fries and coleslaw. And then they say, um, we don't have any french fries and we have no coleslaw. Okay, well, at least they had legs, right? So Kim looks at me and I think, okay, we'll take two okras and beans and rice. So then we get, I think she gets uh, okra, beans and rice, and corn. I, I, I think, I don't know. Anyway, but it was 40 pieces of chicken, 20 for her and 20 for me. So we wait and we wait and we wait and it took forever. And um, they said 10 minutes, they had to, I don't know, fry up some more thighs. So it was probably 30 minutes and I was starting to get tired because it was past my bed, my nap time. Cause I'm used to that nap at one o'clock now and it was 2.15 we, I hadn't had a nap. Anyway, we finally get our chicken, but I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it must be everybody's getting chicken for there be to be no, uh, drumsticks or chicken legs at Cleveland and then get down here and there's no fries. 
So anyway, we finally got home. Kim had her shelf. We both had our bags of chicken and um, it was a good afternoon. I just, we just, um, I think Lex ate every drumstick up he went. Well, Connor won't eat chicken. Connor only eats rolls. So anyway, they had their lunch. They had their dinner. We had our lunch. Um, it turned out to be a great day. It started getting cold outside. And when I got up this morning to let the dogs out, it was really cold outside. And you know, I have to go with Woody because for some reason, I mean, he'll run out and run all around with Paw Paw. But when I'm with him, he thinks, oh, I'm, I'm not going off this porch unless you go. So I had to stand there and I didn't grab a jacket and I'm thinking, oh, it is so cold. So I come and put on my new flannel shirt. Well, the house was pretty warm. Anyway, guys, that is my week and my weekend, and I've talked for, ooh, 21 minutes, and um, I hope you can stand to watch it. That's all I can say, because my life's pretty boring. Um, some lady, uh, one of Kim's followers, told her she doesn't know why Kim and I keep building uh, rooms inside our tiny house, and I'm thinking, I, did, I never thought of my house as tiny. Maybe it is, you know, no one sees upstairs, so it, it's pretty big. But anyway, that's what she said. She don't know why we keep building rooms and adding stuff in, in our tiny houses. So I thought that was pretty funny. But guys, I love that closet so much. And the room, as I've told y'all before, it's kind of just a wasted room. It's all that's in there was uh, Papa's desk. And then whatever else I thought would might look good if I drug it in there. Anyway, I love that closet so much. Papa and Kim did an excellent job. So um, I'm really praising God for that. I, I am. That that's a blessing to me. That's a blessing. And I said, you know what? I have no closet doors. I use curtains. So what's it going to bother me? You can't see the opening as you come into the house. So if it takes another week to get a door, that is not going to um, upset me at all. Anyway, um, guys, I'm going to go now. And um, I, I would say I hope you enjoyed the video, but there's really nothing to enjoy unless you want to hear about chicken problems, a new closet, and sick babies. Praise God, uh, Coda is not sick. But you know what? And I believe this. We should drink the uh, probiotic yogurt every day. And I'll tell everybody that. And anybody that's sick a lot, I'll tell them that. When I went back to work, uh, Lex was 18 months old. And I started getting sick all the time. And my doctor said, you drink the probiotic um, yogurt every day. So what I drink, it's called Yakult. Um, I think it's Y-A-K-U-L-T -Y or vice versa on that, but they're little bitty bottles and it's a probiotic and it is for your immune system and for your tummy. So I drink that every day without fail and I praise God that I'm I'm hardly ever sick. I have a lot of allergies, but that's been since I was like 10 years old, I guess. I didn't have them in California, but coming back to Texas, here they are again. My eyes look kind of red today. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I love you so much, and I'm not making any promises anymore. Like, I'm going to do a video Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I didn't do any videos last week because uh, me and my girls just, you know, I was there if they needed me, and you know, Carly did need me, and then she wanted to be rocked. But then when I rocked Carly, then Coda wanted to be rocked. So, you know, I would sit half the day, you know, with a little girl in each hand, rubbing their back and rocking. And that was fine with me, too. So, um, when the babies need you, they need you. And, guys, um, someone else told Kim that people should stop pawning their kids off on me. You know, guys, I think my, my babies keep me young. When when I they're not here, what would I be doing, honestly? I get up, I, you know, with them here, I still vacuum the house, wash the clothes, fold the clothes, do everything I have to do. 
what would I do if I didn't have those babies? I don't know. I might, um, I don't know what I would do. You can only shop so much. It's not really fun to shop if you, you can't spend a lot of money and you just don't want to go to somewhere every day and just spending money just for the heck of getting yourself out of the house. But keeping the girls are a blessing to me. That is one way that God has blessed me. And if uh, Nanny used to say this, Nanny used to take, Jean's mom, we called her Nanny. Um, she used to take Tony and um, his cousin Mark to school. And she told us so many times, if I didn't have to take those boys to school, I would have no reason to get up in the morning. And that's true sometimes when you think about it. And if I didn't have those girls, you know, to make me get up and make me get down, my rocking chair might be my home. And uh, as much as I love to watch movies, sometimes you can watch too many movies and sit in your chair too long without getting up. But I can get comfortable in my chair and then I'll hear, JJ, because Carly has no patience. And I was like, coming, and she goes, JJ. Well, you know, I better learn to get up fast, especially when she's not feeling well, because she she has no patience ever. But really, when she's feeling well, she has no patience. And oh my goodness, Dustin used to be the same way. And I just love it. I, I, I loved it. I, I could raise my kids. Then I got to participate in raising my grandkids and now god's blessed me and i am participating in in raising and keeping my great grandkids and that's a blessing so please don't ever think oh poor Gigi, she's got those kids every day she can't do anything or go anywhere because uh i can drive with a baby in the back seat so if me and coda decide we're going to go somewhere we can go so guys i love you i i hope you're having blessed days um, there's so, so, so many um, sick, and there's so, so many that need prayer, and we don't want to get so wrapped up in, in our own things that we forget other people. But, you know, that's not the way God wants it, and so we, we need to remember to pray every day for someone else. I can start with Israel, the Palestinians. We don't want to pray for Hamas. Maybe that they would just get to know Jesus before their time comes. Oh, I did tell you something Brindley Grace said yesterday. We're sitting um, in Livingston. Kim's out getting her shelf. And Brindley and Laura in the back seat. And Levi's in the very back seat. And my phone, you know how you get weather notices? And it says, you are under a tornado warning or watch or something. Uh, or there's a tornado warning for your area. Oh, and both of the girls sit up. And Brindley says, what are we going to do? And I said, well, nothing, baby. We're just, you know, we're going to let Aunt Kim get her shell. And she said, shouldn't we go and hide? And I said, well, you really can't hide from tornadoes. And she said, but yeah, but what if one comes and we die? And it's not our time to die. And I said, baby. It's our time to die whenever God wants us to die. But I don't feel in my heart that a tornado is going to take us today. So and she, she was all upset. It was not our time to die. So that was pretty funny. And then I told her and she got a little bit. I said, baby, if we die, we'll just go straight to heaven. And she sat back and I could tell she was thinking about that for a little bit, but. Anyway, Kim said, look, we're leaving Cold Springs right now, and there's not a tornado warning in Cleveland, so we're out of danger. So, guys, I know, you know, we're in danger everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, we are in danger. But that's why we hold on to Jesus with both hands and, and pray his, his, uh, his blood around us that we'll be protected and um, God is good. I'm just going to end this video by saying I love you all and God is good.